Our next is chat patterns. Okay. So chat patterns. Now what we have seen is uh, in the previous or in the pre-screen is uh, uh, the patterns uh, created for you, right? Pre-screen. Here the options that is available to you is you can use multiple different uh, chat patterns in one go. For example, if you may be interested in bullish engulfing, gap up, or this, or this. These four bullish patterns, any of the patterns is created, you are happy. So when you run this, you'll, you'll see that, okay, bullish harami is created for quite a few. Uh, the others are not. Uh, maybe we add a little more. Right? So again, you don't have too many other patterns. Yeah, so, so we have selected six patterns here, right? So uh, there are certain patterns with bullish harmies. There are certain three inside up, three outside up. So in one screener, you can filter multiple different candlestick patterns. So that's, again, uh, something different. Right? So this is how you can uh, add multiple uh, different uh, candlestick patterns, right? You can all, So this is one way of adding candlestick patterns. Uh, the second way of adding candlestick pattern is a little more tedious, but very, very good, right? So this is how you will add. So uh, if, if you get familiar with this thing, then you can always create a very powerful and very customizable candlestick pattern, narrow range, or a lot of other things, right? I won't go into that. Uh, maybe when we cover candlestick, I'll, I'll uh, show you some of the patterns, how to make those patterns here, right? So going back to the patterns, reset patterns. The next in line is gap up on 15 minutes with jump in volume. Okay. Uh, not sure if we get any here. Gap up on 15 minutes. Let's see if we get any. Okay. No, no way. We'll be kidding. Okay. So we get a few stocks in all stocks and with jump in volume. So let's say that volume um, jump is greater than. 100% compared to previous day. Okay. All right. So what we have done is bullish gap up with jump in volume. So when you look at this, again, the quality of stocks are not very good, right? So this, this is a gap up with higher volume. Let's see if we find any good stock. Right? So there are a lot of gap ups here with jump in volume. So that's how you can mix. Uh, candlestick pattern along with the other indicator, right? That does just illustrate that particular point that you can mix match certain patterns with other uh, indicators. Next one, Haikinashi bullish continuation and narrow range. And then followed by wide range. Okay. So Haikinashi, we want to look here, close this one, go back here. Bullish initiation or continuation. Run it. This is bullish initiation. So, okay, let me see if we can limit it to NSC 500. Yeah, we have this. So, so, this, so bullish continuation, continuation, continuation. All that continuation, no initiation. Okay, so when you look at the continuation, so it's like, Previous is bullish. This is also bullish, right? It's going up. So, so th th that's how you'll find that particular thing. There's no initiation here. Okay. Right. If if you are doing any of these things and you get a lot of records, what you can do is you can just filter here. If we, there's likelihood that you may not be able to scroll so many records. So this will help you to filter out. And that's how you can filter some of the stocks based on this, right? Again, first of all, you have chosen a very complex pattern. So not too many stocks are here. Next is narrow range and wide range. Narrow range. So unlike the other areas, here you have an option of choosing a lot of ticks. You can go for NR7. You can go for all the way up to NR20, right? So this will give you the narrowest candle in the last 20 ticks. Okay? The, the bigger the length is, the more the chance is for a big breakout. Okay, so there's nothing in 20. 
let's see if we go to 10 run it so if you see alton is the narrowest candle in last so many ticks right so and you can clearly see the consolidation right directionless in this area so there, there's a possibility of dip up or break down over here uh wide range if you're looking at something on wide range maybe like uh, uh 15 ticks wide range minimum greater than let's say 200 percent now this will be a very interesting one right so the moment has already happened uh, and you'll get uh, something which could be interesting in coming days yeah. right so uh what we were looking at is basically the widest range in 15 ticks greater than 20 so you'll see a very wide candle out here you'll always see a very very wide candle very very wide candle and generally the wider candle comes with good volume right so depending on where it is made uh if it's close to a support resistance some of the actions can be taken over there right it tells you clear uh, change in volatility so let's go back into let's say bollinger again right you see that there's a breach of that thing so whenever you see a white candle uh, you'll see that a lot of movement is happening so that could be one of the criteria for your analysis. 